Hello there and welcome back to the Flying Scotsman FM channel where today we are simulating Anthony Gordon's move from Everton to Newcastle in the January transfer window. As you can see in the top right here, we are at the end of January. We have moved Anthony Gordon over on the 28th of January for £45 million. That's the fee that's been reported across the media over the last two days for the move to happen this window. As you can see, as soon as he has moved over, he is worth between £35 million and £104 million. What we will do now is we will take a look and see how he got on in the first half of the season at Goodison Park. So he started 24 games in all competitions, scored 0 goals and provided 2 assists with an average rating of 6.67. Now, if it were me and I was spending £45 million on a player, I would not be happy if that's the sort of form that a player was coming into us with. But let me know if... As a Newcastle fan, you're happy with the signing happening. And what we will do now is we will move forward to the end of this season to see how Gordon gets on in his first six months at Newcastle. Here we are at the end of the very first season of Anthony Gordon in this simulation. We spent the first half of the season at Everton before moving over to Newcastle. So as you can see, when he moved to Newcastle, he has played a total of 17 games, scoring 4 goals and having 0 assists. So a slightly better second half of the season once he moves clubs. However, for £45 million, I think I would be expecting a bit more from him. What we'll do next is we will fast forward to either the end of his career if he stays at Newcastle and then go through everything he's achieved, or if he moves club, we will take a look and see what happens there. So here we are in October 2030 and Anthony Gordon has moved on from Newcastle and is now a PSG player. As you can see, he is now reported to be worth between £49 million and £147 million with a weekly wage of £150,000. Unfortunately for him, he's still to make his international debut for England, but we will take a look and see how he got on throughout his time in Newcastle to see why he was sold or if it was just the next step up in his career. So in his first full season, he played 53 games, scoring 8 goals and providing 5 assists. He then played 50 games in his next season with 12 goals and 4 assists. Again, appearance is starting to drop off here. 18 starts, 13 off the bench, 5 goals and 4 assists was his output. Again, less game time, 11 starts, 6 sub-appearances. With only two goal contributions that season. The next season, again, diminishing minutes with six starts and 15 appearances off the bench, this time scoring four goals. He then only started one game in the 28-29 season before, in his final season, playing seven games and coming off the bench 17 times with three goals and one assist. This then prompted his move to PSG for £51 million. So we'll now take a look and see if he won any trophies while at Newcastle United. So in 26, he was the runner-up in the Europa League before having a phenomenal season in the 2028 year with a Premier League winner's medal and an FA Community Shield medal. Two years later, he then won the Premier League again as well as finishing runner-up in the Community Shield. However, this time he did win the Carabao Cup. So, at the age of 29, he has moved over to France, so we will now see how he gets on in France and see if he can win a Champions League or if he makes any international appearances from here on. We are now into June 2038, eight years after he has moved to Paris, and we can see he has started 29 games for England and scored two goals. He is also due to retire in a week's time, which is why we have came back on this date. As you can see, his physicals have started to diminish, which will be why he has decided to retire at the age of 37. We will now take a look and see if he had a better time in France than he did in Newcastle. So his first full season, he only started six games for PSG, but he did score seven goals. He then started to play more, and if you look at the bottom of the screen, with each passing season, he started to play more and provide more for his team and score more goals. So in the 32-33 season, he started 40 games and scored 17 goals with two assists. And then 
as we keep scrolling through, you can see he is scoring double-digit goals most seasons and setting up numerous of his teammates. And then in his final season, he only played five games from the start and he made one sub-appearance. So, to look over his entire career, he played 231 games for Newcastle, scoring 38 goals while providing 14 assists. And then after moving across to France, he played a total of 246 games for Paris, scoring 82 goals and getting 30 assists. Now, because I do not have the French League loaded, it will not show me trophies won here, um, other than European ones, where he was the runner-up in the Super Cup in 2032. But what I can do is, if I go to the actual PSG club information, I can see what trophies he has won. So, taking a look, he has won the Champions League in 2032. He has then won... The French League from 2031, consecutive seasons 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and then most recently in 38. And they have done the same in the Coupe de France, winning it every single year. And as well as this, he has won the Trophée de Champion in 31, 32, 33, 34, 36, and 37. So as you can see, he has had a clean sweep in his time in France. And if we take a look, you can also see that Anthony Gordon is a favoured personnel of PSG. So he had an average time over at Newcastle, but it does look like he is retiring in France at PSG as one of their most well-remembered players of the recent era. So there we have it. That's... Anthony Gordon's career simulated from his move to Newcastle right the way until he retires. If you're a Newcastle fan, let me know in the comments down below if you're happy with the £45 million move for Anthony Gordon or whether you think it's far too much money for him. And also, let me know if you've liked the content in general. Please like, share and subscribe and we will be back next week with another experiment. Thank you for watching.